Okay, welcome back. And uh, we're looking at um, the situation in uh, Labour Party where it would appear that um, uh, things, uh, notice I said appear, as if things are not holding together. Um, we have with us Mr. Abayomi Arabambi, spokesman, a Labour Party Apapa faction, Apampa faction. And um, in studio, we have Mr. Jide Ologun here. Um, the, the part of Labour, in fact, I was looking at something here in the paper, uh, and that, um, you know, uh, this is the Tribune, and it has this headline, Labour LP, Labour Party releases document whittling NLC's power over the party. Um, but there's no how you argue Labour is a, st is a strong stakeholder, is it not, Mr. Arabambi, in, in, in Labour Party? The, the NLC, the Congress, is a stakeholder. And is it, can it be shut out? Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let me read what we have in our constitution that was domiciled with Thailand as at this minute. Composition of the National Group Committee, which we are going to have number one national chairman, three deputy national chairmen, at least one of whom will be a female and other representative of the platform, that is NSTUC. We have the national secretary. Then we have three deputy national secretary. Most importantly, NSC and TUC president is part of our NWC. NSC, TUC, general secretary are part of our TUC, I mean, of our <coughs> NWC. So if, if anybody is now posting in the public place that NLC, TUC, doesn't have any power or document. It means all our election for 2023 is ultra null and void. Because what we have here stipulated that they are part and parcel of the NWC. That means we have shut them out. So the document they have, any part that they put that document to remove, is at the office that says you please go to INEC, take the constitution that INEC has for Labour Party. The constitution. So whatever they are saying, they are on their own. But as far as we are concerned, in the Federal, the Federal Executive Council, it is not only the president and his wife that will now sit down and be directed to Nigeria. No. The president, the vice president, the chief of staff, secretary, and ministers. You know, when a constitution stipulated the composition of an organization, the Supreme Court has made a ruling that Parties must obey their constitution in Makapi versus Alimodu Sheri in PDP then. You must obey your constitution. And when you don't obey your constitution, you are not even fit to hold any public office. Okay. So, I, I, at, this place, I, at this place, now, so, so, sorry to interrupt you, sir, but at this place, let me bring on our first caller, uh, Mr. George. He's called in from Ikeja. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning to all your guests. Yes. Okay, what strikes me in this whole Labour Party bra is the attitude of uh, Peter B, who was their presidential candidate in the last presidential election. He says he is not interested in mediating or uh, doing anything about the crisis in the Labour Party. Hello, this is a man who wanted to govern the whole country. If you cannot even manage a small political party that serves as your platform, how would you govern Nigeria as a country? He, he beat me hollow. He just tells me that we just dodged a bullet. The gentleman from the Labour Party is accusing uh, Atiku for masterminding the crisis. I don't think so. You have a Labour Party that is seeing money for the first time. It was when Peter Obi came to the party that a reasonable amount of money was experienced by the party for the first time. And you know human beings, where there is money, intellect comes in, and everybody wants to have a share. That's just what is happening. I don't think it is for one political party that is behind it. You have an MP president who is interested in politics, who is doing what previous NLC presidents did not do because he wants to run for office. And he's asserting himself. So the problem is inside, not from outside. 
That's just where I see it. All it's right. Funny. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. George. Um, let me allow you to react to that because it speaks directly uh, to your internal organization, Mr. Rabambi. Well, th thank you very much. Uh, for us, uh, you see, uh, with due respect, uh, Mr. Peter will be like, you know, woman and manage, uh, woman managerial capab capacity and capability. And uh, I think you will still need to hold on a little because uh, such an emphatic statement ought not to have come from his mouth when we did our own exposition of, of Abure, you know, uh, criminality. And even the treasurer also did the same. You saw position of NFC, you saw position of TUC, and somebody truly, you say you want to govern Nigeria, you are busy putting ball on, you know, with motorcycle machine engine all over the north. That was the north whom he rejected during the composition of our uh, President Kabe Council. I've said it before, and I'm still going to repeat it. In all the north, all our state coordinators are Igbo that are living in the north, and they may not deny their deputies. So probably he want to correct his mistakes, fine. But when you see an, a crisis of this magnitude, and a president candidate decided that, oh, I don't want to offend this side, I don't want to offend this side, let me just say neutral. He wouldn't have such a capacity. Look at the current president. He will accept his fault wherever it is own. The other one is tell you, okay, this is the way we are going to do it. He addresses his people, I mean, the minister, and some businessmen of business, he said, we told Nigeria we are going to fix it. I got no excuse. I cannot give excuses. I must go ahead. I must go ahead on. In PDP, secondus, and Yoshayu, they were removed. Nothing happened to that party. The Lord of Adam was sure money. John Oyegun, I mean, Oyegun, what is Oyegun? I mean, the other governor, Abdullahi, all of them, you know, they were removed in APC. The world didn't fall. Oh, I don't know the fear, but I think the problem will be as with Abure is this. Our money is between Mr. Bitaubi and Abure. And I recollect. On Arise TV, when Abure came out in defense of what the treasurer said, he said he gave President Kabe Council 800 million, and all the money they said he appropriated, all the money that came to the party was just 1.7 plus the 800. He said he just gave another 2. Point something, not 3. Point something. But up to today, the Kabe Council has not deemed it fit to come to the neck of our party to say, oh, this is how much we receive. They receive dollar. They receive personally, but today, Mr. Pitobi has not deemed fit to tell Nigeria. He only came to say, Oh, all the money I spent was I gave them 800 million and I spent 700 million on a litigation. So I think it is a question of if you dagger me, I will dagger you. So he right. will not be able to point a crucifix finger at Abure because the two of them have soiled their hand in the conduct and expenditure of Labour Party money that was generated according to that color in 2023. They have a lot of things in common. And I, I, I said it here now, Obi cannot ever come out to say Abure resigned. Obi will not die. If not, he knew that once Abure goes to the press, then the center will never hold between the two of them. Okay. Elder David, good morning to you, sir. Calling in from Agege, I believe. Morning, Elder. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling. Okay. Uh, David from Ali Moshaw, sir. Ali Moshaw. Please go ahead, sir. Uh, David from Ali Moshaw. Good morning, sir. G good morning. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. You are on live. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Labour Party used to be a very peaceful party. When Iwayangu was there, when Iwayangu was there, the Miko won the election to Labour Party. It was not tribal. But remember that Obi was elected as the governor of uh, Anabra State under Abga. They now they come to PDT as vice presidential candidate to Atiko. And when you know he couldn't get his way through, 
Then he now went to Labour Party. Labour Party itself has become a tribal party because Ajero, who is there today, who is calling workers out to strike at the beginning of this government, he was working for Labour. And the man they call Abore is an unfortunate man. I know if a man will accept him because they were accusing that he does not belong from Labour. And that's why he was removed. And by this one, the Ajero himself will probably be removed as a labor as, as a, the president of the Labour Party. Because when Wapa was there, he did not involve himself into politics. So the Labour Party, as we are seeing it today, belongs to the Igbos. And these are facts. Let us tell all the truth. Well, and we should be very, very well, careful. It didn't to Any worker that it didn't to Ajero in respect of labor issue, threatening of strike and all that, that worker will do the job. Because this government it's workers friendly. It's for the interest of every Nigeria. So the Labour Party you are seeing today, it is not on one side. That is the now. That is the way they are talking about now. And what wow. that man is saying is that <laughs> Elder David. they are very correct. <laughs> uh, Elder David, Elder David, I'm sure there will be many within I Labour. Uh, Elder David, I'm sure there will be many within Labour that take exception uh, to that uh, viewpoint. NLC is Nigeria uh, Labour Congress, you know, and... Um, but, but uh, do you have thoughts on this? He, he gave his sort of working to why he has arrived at that answer. But it still needs to be said that the NLC is a national uh, movement. Absolutely. The NLC is a national movement. And like I said, the foundation of Labour Party, except that various interests have come in. Perhaps it may be more appropriate to say that the obedient movement at the time <clears throat> appeared like being an ethnocentric driving force, you know, and the spokesperson also alluded to the structure in the north mm. where mm. the northerners were excluded, mm -hmm. and, and that is the power of who holds the major stake in a party. And of course, for uh, Peter Obi, he will also want to surround himself with forces that could have helped him to win the elections as, uh, as the presidential candidate he was then. So I, all the parties in Nigeria have representation across the ethnic uh, differentiations in the country, but maybe uh, some are more prominent. You know, it's like saying now that um, Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu is representing the Southwest. Obviously, that is his base. You should expect that strong support should come for him from there. But smartly also, I was, as a top-line politician, yes. he has been able to network I was going to into say that. other regions. Exactly. To in, we call it inclusion. Yeah. To include them yeah. in the formula. And I think that is a lesson that other politicians should learn. And what I was insinuating is already coming out. It's not just that assuming there are opposition forces aiming to bring down the influence of the Labour Party. It will not only be targeted at the party, it will be targeted at candidates that may want to come through that party. So you now see even Labour Party disparaging Peter Obi himself with several allegations. So I think it's not the best time to walk on slippery ground. And let's, let's, let's come back to the influence of NLC. In year 2014, towards the 2015 election, Ayuba Waba was the president of NLC. He also tried to tamper with the leadership of the Labour Party, even wrote to INEC. And that was when INEC responded that, no, you don't have a local standard mm -hmm. in what you are trying to mm -hmm. do. And that is what uh, is being said now, that NLC, Ajayiro, is not learning from history. So mm -hmm. I think by and large, my advice is that even when you want to engage these battles, why don't you study widely, look at precedents? I said the same thing during the uh, election tribunals, that if I were to go to court, I will go back, study the precedent, and ask myself, do I have a good case in, 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 in the presence of all this? Because like we heard about 700 million going into litigation. God bless my colleagues <laughs> <laughs> who have you know, grabbed that you money. Know, so, it was, the, uh, it, it was uh, George, you know, the viewer who called in, and brought up the matter of finances, any way you look at it. I remember there was the issue at the time when even within labor, there was some contestation as to 
who should be keeping money that was donated uh, from around the country, maybe in diaspora. Um, it was alleged. One has no way of knowing what the truth of it is, is that those monies were coming to Peter Obi himself, whereas Labour at the time was feeling that, wait a minute, you yourself, you're a member of the party. I think that was when the beginning, when we began to see the beginning of um, issues such as uh, uh, the OB, obedient movement is one thing. Uh, Labour Party is another. There are instances where the two of them could sort of coalesce, but uh, don't just take it for granted like that. That's the point I'm making. The fact that we have factions right now, we have the Abure faction, we have the Apapa faction, we have the Ajero faction, and of course, we have the presidential candidates, the obedient faction. So, in managing all this, you need uh, public relations expertise because we are talking about conflict resolution here. We are talking about being on the same page. So, how can you, if not, if this continues, more messy details will come into the open that will even affect the followership of the party because the more you come out, to throw out this dirty linens. Exactly. The pastor, your loyalist, learn more. It's gotten they probably to, did not know that, oh, so this party is like this. It's party gotten like to that this. stage you where know, people I, are seeing labor in a different, well, I mean, you see, it's, it's one thing for people outside the party to be talking in a manner. But when people from within the party, uh, such as Mr. Arabambi has made one or two illustrations, um, it's, it's a real problem, isn't it, for... Um, your party. So what are your thoughts on how the center must hold? When the people say the center could not hold, the center has to come back to hold. Uh, because surely you're not going to leave labor, and there are uh, other loyalists that are also feeling like that. But the way it appears now, um, there doesn't appear to be much to commend it. So how would, how, how would labor, in your view, um, what, what is it that will need to be done, and pretty soon, as a matter of fact, uh, to bring labor back to its whole self. Thank you very much. I think the issue of Bagwell syndrome has to be completely eliminated from the Labour Party. Once that is done, uh, I think we are going to have peace. And what do I mean by Bagwell syndrome, uh, as the, you know, said by the, by the, by the, the local narrator, uh, Professor Walesh Yenka, um, like the lawyer said, when all the people came with Peter Obi and money started coming in, I am telling Nigerians today, we have a lot of people that came on two ways into the Labour Party. They were, you know, put into the President Campaign Council. Labour Party doesn't know anything, a lot about that, honestly, because even there was a time Abure himself what it will be openly in our meeting. That you cannot just come to the party you, and you not be administering our party money from the DG. That is Dr. Doyokope. So I told you to talk, he was on loan from the Labour Party to the Labour Party. He was on loan. He was not a member. These were the people that said we can have the national chairman from the South. The president candidate from the south, the DG of the campaign council from the south, the deputy, I mean, the, the financial director from the south, the campaign director from the south, the secretary general, all from the south. But the same people are now the one because somewhere along the line, like Yoruba said, they are now the one coming on here and including Kenneth of Hong and uh, they are. And it, uh, the, the other DG, they are now saying, oh, the Nile Chama should go to the north. They should stop playing with the intelligence. All they right. Well, well, one moment. moment. Let, let, let me go. bring in Reverend Dominic. I beg your pardon. Reverend Dominic has since come online. Good morning, Reverend Dominic. Good morning, Chief Yore. Good morning, Good morning sir. To your yeah. Yore, will you permit me to start this uh, discussion this way in one second? Yore, every, if I can hear you well, Okay. Every time we talk about Nigerian problem, most people talk about the constitution of Nigeria. And I've argued that the problem of Nigeria is not constitution, it's not a document, it's not a law. It's the people. 
your reward is different thing that in the people in the Labour Party or in any other party than what they soon have. Minus B to B from Labour Party. What is Labour Party? It happened in days of Mimiko. Mimiko won election in Ondo and brought the Labour Party to landlight. This struggle started again. We, from there, we have the Zenit, Zenit Labour Party. The Dora brother left and become the chairman of the Zenit Labour Party. Now, if we do leave tomorrow, what will happen of the Labour Party? Nothing. The issue is that Nigerians have not learned lessons, like I guess. If we learn lessons, the problem of Nigeria is not documented. It is not. I don't think that what is different from the Labour Party man now and the people that criticize him, whether it's PDP, whether it's APC, what is different? If this people get to power, God forbid they didn't go to power last year. If they got to power last year, the picture of the Labour Party you will see. There's no consensus. It's not about the name. It's about the people in this nation. All of us all need to build Nigeria. And if we don't change the last two, we can check constitution 20 times. Nothing will change. God bless Nigeria. Well, thank you very much, uh, Reverend Dominic. I, I think it is only fitting for me to leave you. Uh, I, we have very little time now. now. Um, even before I come to my guest in studio, let me give you the last word on this subject, um, the, the battle for the soul of uh, Labour Party. Mr. You know, Arabambi, just in the few thank moments we much. have left, I, I wanted to give you the last word. If it will be, yeah, if it will, I disagree with him, yeah, if it will be the Labour Party, well, what are, have they all become of the Labour Party? Our party is not going to build around individual. An individual who came to our party and misbanded and misbanded our fund will not be the reason because we are frustrated on winning a general election and allow such a person to have his way. Because if Labour Party are won that presidency, we won't have anything like Asson Law. Asson Law will have been used to borrow money. That is not the kind of I mean, the party we want to run. That's not the kind of government we want to form. We are talking about inequality. We are talking about massive corruption. We are talking about ethnicity, religious and ethnicity sentiment. Somebody will not be telling us that, oh, we have to accommodate it. We accommodate someone who will tell me my tribe is lower than his own. And because we want to defeat Tinubu, then we should work together. My dear brother, the answer the capital, no. Labour Party produce, if you don't know, let me tell you, we produce Omar Gege as a senator in this country before he defected. We have read. We have governor. PDP OB was also in Africa when we won the governorship. If he wants to stay, he must play by the rule. Every money that comes to the party, they should come to the table and give us account. If we cannot give account, we should stop blaming President Balatinubu or any negative bias in that administration. Labour Party chief, they should keep quiet. They should never, I mean, contest whatever Tinubu does. If we are able to come together, come and tell us what, what I mean, what we have. How much did you spend? What is remaining? How can our present candidate, who has two aircraft, now be going about in a private aircraft, donating 20 million, when no cover was given to our party? All our national sectarians, state sectarians, what sectarians, local government sectarians, obviously did not give us a cover. No All cover right. was given to us for the election. Well. Other than between him and Babadi Banjo of, uh, of our very, very, the very, very faction. They were the people that can come and tell Nigerians, how do you spend the party money? We will not be subdued. We will not be intimidated. If we want to stay, beautiful. If you want to live, we wish him well. Battle, you know, is a PDP. All right, then. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Abayomi Arabambi. I must thank you, Labour Party, a uh, faction, uh, for coming on the program this morning and giving us your perspective. Really appreciate your presence on the program this morning. Um, in fact, um, I, I, I think we should leave it there, really. Unless you just had I a just, very, yes, very, have, very brief. I have an advice for Labour Party. Yes. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Amos 3, 3 says, can two walk together except that they are agreed? And so that's a fine place I'm, to leave yes, it. I'm, I'm advising that if they have to come you are to some in agreement. a secured future. Okay, then. Well, so as I said, it. we've totally run out of time. But thank you very much. And uh, you put Amos, Amos 3.3, 3, right? Amos 3.3. 3. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Mr. Gideo Logan, lawyer and public affairs analyst. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming on the program. Okay. That's our program today. Do please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. Actually, Monday. Make that Monday for a fresh edition. Um, Yori Polani. Do have a great weekend. Bye-bye for now.